I got him. Ah, uh, whatever that is, it's big. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This video was actually intended to be a walleye fishing video, but the bass fishing was so on fire, I just kind of abandoned that and went after the bass. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It'll help me keep growing and making awesome content like this for you guys. Okay guys, this is the plan for today. We're gonna drop shot since I finally learned how to drop shot, but we're not gonna be using the old drag and drop. We're gonna be using the old live bait. So let's grab us a little minnow, or a minnow, it doesn't have to be little. That water's nice and chilly, so put ice in it. And got him a nice little nose hook there. Now we got some live bait fishing. Now, this weather is toasty. All right, we're just gonna let it sink down to the bottom. Or let that little guy sink to the bottom. And we're just gonna dance him on the bottom. There's some lay downs and some tree structure over here. There's no telling what we might catch. I am targeting walleye. I'd like to bring some home to eat. But we may catch some bass, some crappie, and today's high is 105. So you guys know I'm dedicated fisherman when I'm gonna be out here when it's gonna be 100. Right now it's just 90 or so, which it really isn't that bad. I got him. Uh, whatever that is, it's big. It's a big old largey. We got us a largey. Drop shot in the minnow. Didn't really have any intention of catching largies today, but hey, that didn't take long at all. Yeah, he. He wanted to eat the minnow, but we're gonna get this hook out of him. We'll be, we'll help him out pretty good. We got it out. Man, he's a pretty good size. Look at that. Uh, he's kind of got my references off a little bit, so let's let's give him a check out on the the old weight scale here. Oh, one, almost one and a half pounds. That ain't bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Nice little one and a half pounder. We'll let him go. And off to the deeps again. He wasn't super deep, he was only 12 foot or so. Grab us another minnow real quick. You know, as hot as it's gonna be, I mean, I'm already having a successful day. Getting rid of the uh, old skunk bug. Definitely helps with the mentality. Gets me a little confidence going. Smash that thumbs up button if you always get a sigh of relief when you get rid of your skunk bug. Just a slow finesse technique. I mean, I'm not really caught that many, many fish on drop shots, but I mean, that's like number three in my lifetime. So that bass was on this little point here off of some brush. The only reason I know there was some brush is because I felt it when I set the hook. Usually I like to do this type of technique with some high vis line, which I may switch this up if it ever breaks off to uh, my other one, which has the yellow line. As long as you have a pretty long leader, you'll be all right. Sometimes with this green, it's really hard to see that line. I usually like to have some kind of white, white or yellow, and here's that. I really don't want to be messing with all these wakes. It's not fun, to be honest with you, but Especially my little baby aluminum boat. Got him. It's a bass. Yeah, another bass. This is a spot tongue. Yeah, that's a spotter bass. Look at that. 
Oh yeah. Second bass of the day. Looks like the drop shot's doing work. Bye bye. Right off this point, once again. Let's take a two minute break and get some something to drink and check on our minnows. So mountain berry blast. Almost done with it. So guys, my recommendation if you're out on a really, really hot day, every other hour, down you a Powerade. In the hours you don't aren't drinking a Powerade, drink a water. So every hour you should be drinking a bottle of something. It'll keep you from getting dehydrated and having a severe headache. I've had both before and neither are really good, so definitely take you a little break every now and then. It only takes four or five minutes to drink a bottle of water or Gatorade, especially if it's really, really hot. You kind of really want to. Put a little more ice on our on our minnows there. Still not catching the species that I'm wanting to, hey, but but hey, we're having a good time catching these bass. I uh, hope I recorded that last fish. If not, I've caught, uh, hooked on to back-to-back -back fish and brought one in. It just kind of seems like they're right off this point where this hazard buoy is. All right, definitely fish on these points. This is a little beefed up version of what I was just using. Can't see the line as well, but everything's a little stronger. You know, I had this crazy idea the other day just to drop shot with a minnow on, and holy crap, is it paying off. Holy crap. I had a fish on, I think before it even hit the ground, hit, hit the bottom. Easy, buddy. <laughs> Another one. And they're out here, they're off this point, and I'm gonna fish them as long as I can catch them. He got a big old belly on him. He's looking pretty tasty. I don't eat bass, but hey, I'm a, I said he was tasty. I don't know. He may not be tasty. Never had a bass. That's the cast I wanted, right there. Got him. Now he wants to fight. Drop shot with a minnow. All for these largies. Nobody's huge. Perfect time to take a little break. I need some water. And I need some food. So I'll be back in a minute. Getting back to fishing here. I feel. You know, after drinking one of those, you, you get a little re-energized and you feel like you're ready to go again. Well, they should be ready to bite again. It's gotta be a school right here. Got him. Oh, I think that's a good one. Now he's running right at me. That's a good one. That or it's a spotted bass and he loves to fight. It might be a good spot. Come on, Spotty. Man, he do not want to come up. That's definitely a spot. Holy moly, look at this fat spot. I think that's a spot. At least he looks like it a little bit. 
<laughs> Man, he's fat. Oh yeah, let's fill his tongue. Definitely a rougher tongue. But, and his jaw does not come behind his eye, his jaw joint, so definitely a spot. Sometimes I have difficulties, but man, he definitely fought like a spot. He's a pretty good one too. Look at that belly. Look at his belly here. Man, he's fat. He been eating a, he been eating good. That was fun. It's been a while since I caught a really big spot or a decent sized spot. That's a fish. There you go. That's another spot. He's fighting like one at least. Now this is fun. <laughs> Come on big guy, let's go. Right in the snozz. I fought like a spot. He may not be. He may not be a spot. He don't look like a spot. His jaw definitely comes behind his eye, so he's probably not one. He's just a fighter. Oops. Got water everywhere. All right. Got a knot here. Don't really want to be fishing with a knot in it. All right, another another ink of me is there, and I'm sweating profusely right now. I am catching fish, so I can look at my arm. I'll go listen to a sweat there. I think that's a fish on it. Yep. It's another bass. Come on now. Come on in here. That's all right. Another little spot, or largey there. That was a large enough spot. I don't want to keep calling spots there. All right, I gotta get another weight real quick. Oh crap. Oh, well, there's a fire over there. But I had a fish on, uh, like, as it hit the water. I haven't seen him yet. There he is. Another largey. Lots of people right now I know would be extremely jealous of how many fish I've caught today. I don't even know how many it's been. It's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous that, uh, well, I gave up on my walleye fishing. Let's put it that way. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you haven't ever tried the drop shot, like myself, definitely worth a shot. Uh, I put some live bait on there. Was definitely the ticket for today. But like always, until next time, you guys get out there and go catch you some fish.